What's going on, everyone? Here is a live uh, beta key, actually. Well, not key. It's a heroic dungeon. So here is the uh, first beta content on my channel. Playing Discipline Priest. I have not got the... Um... I did not get as far to get conduits yet. I just kind of set up the character. And... Um... I gave it the... Jeez, do I have Hagar? I just I just got the um, PvP vendor. I just upgraded everything to 190. And so I can hurry up and hop into at least heroics. But I am playing with this. Power shield instantly heals the target for X and reflects 27 damage absorbed. That is, um, shit, reflective mirror, something like that. Playing with those talents there. For some reason, when, uh, they're grouped up like that on the beta anyways. I can't uh I can't like click them. I don't know why. Like I can't, there we go. I was losing out on, on hitting that guy. That thrash guy, big AOE damage. Reflective shield, dang. My top damage. Holy shit. Holy fuck. I spread power shield to all of them during big AOE like that. I just do the damage back. No way. I'm gonna try it. Like, do I do more damage just spreading that? Holy shit, that's big. Fuck. That's crazy. And Rapture, holy shit, with Rapture you get the bigger shields. You get the bigger power shield so you do bigger reflect damage back. Holy F. That's really good. That's a good legendary. Uh, I still haven't really figured out if um, what's better to use um, in AoE situations, whether it's gonna be Mind Seer or Holy Nova. I mean, Holy Nova is actually really good on live if you had enough um, mobs to hit it with. But I think Mind Seer is stronger. So Holy Nova might just be a waste of a button, even though they did change it a little bit. 
where if you hit more than three enemies, you will do its effect um, uh, half the cost or half of the uh, half of the effect, uh, like a split second later. You live. Reflective shield is my top damage. What is going on? That is nuts. Let's try Holy Nova spam here and see what happens. See, so you get the double Holy Nova effect there. Now oh, you can hardly even tilt it. Uh, Explosion of Light around you does X damage and X healing if reduced, or reduced if there are more than five targets. <clears throat> if your Holy Nova deals damage to at least three enemies, a second Holy Nova will be cast a moment later at. 50% effectiveness. So all that like uh, extra tools that makes it seem like it might actually be um, somewhat competitive with mines here, but it's hard to say unless I do like actual uh, testing. And have I'll tell you what, having freaking uh, power infusion on two minute cooldown like that's got to be it's a person. It's actually a personal um, plus. That's crazy. Do some padding here. Can I power word shield? Shadow or Death, take that damage that Shadow or Death does to me and reflect that back. 
but I don't think I can. I'm gonna try it, but I don't think I can. Okay, it seems like BFA when you spread your data around, that was pretty much your best way to do. Uh, I don't cast that for no reason. Uh, was the best way to do um, AOE damage. It seems like Mind Seer right off the bat might be the best. That is crazy. Power infusion being two minutes, that is that's great. And I also figured out that by toying around to get these two on the same cooldown, uh, Mind Blast and Mind Blast and Solace, use Mind Blast first. My single target rotation has become Schism, Mind Blast, Solace, Penance. That way I get my blast and solace and like the same exact on the same cooldown timer. Of course it's gonna change with haste on both of them, but they should go down at the same time. Mine better went down to a 10 second. Could have sworn it was more than that on live. See so yeah, they're both coming back again. Mind blast, solace, boom boom. Schism, Mind Blast, Solace, Shadow or Death, Penance. That's it. That was a quick dungeon. Um, I don't know much about the dungeon itself. Um, I'm just, I just kind of, live is kind of getting pretty damn dead. I was trying to get 3k IO on live and it looks like that just might not happen. Um, but here, that was my first beta content on the channel. Uh, Discipline Priest, Point of View, Heroic. Uh, which one was it? Halls of Atonement? Yeah, Halls of Atonement. Um, let's look at meters overall. 
So overall, I did more DPS than the Affliction Warlock. Okay, most of my healing came from Atonement, Power Shield, and Mind Blast. Third, that's... Okay, so Mind Blast is pretty damn good. Um, most of my damage is Purge Wicked and Mind Seer. So to me, that says Mind Seer is more... Better uh, AoE than Holy Nova is. Like, a lot better. So maybe I'll just get rid of Holy Nova for my bars and... No. Hmm. I might just have to do that. Just get that rid of my get that off my bars and put something else there. Maybe move mind blast over. I don't know. But look look at that. Reflective shield. That's crazy. I mean we saw it on the video where the AoE damage that was coming in um on some of those uh non or those elite mobs. The reflective shield is my top damage, especially when I had rapture with it. There's a tool to cause a percentage of the damage absorbed by powered shield to reflect back at the target or at the attacker. This damage causes no threat. So make your power shield stronger by using Rapture. And it's just going to get stronger than expansion goes on because it's going to go up with uh, intellect. That's, that's pretty good. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care.